to yeah. another recap video. Yeah. Smackdown Live. Yeah. Now, let's see. I'll oh, see. I had a little thing with Shane talking in the beginning. He was like, Worst loser. He said the roster better not get on his bad side because he's already pissed off at what happened on Monday Night Raw with The Undertaker interfering with him and Drew with Roman Reigns. So, and he said, just out of extreme rules, since, yeah, your partner's with a dead man, you will be a dead man too. So, that was that. And then you have The New Day. Yeah. Starts off SmackDown. And of uh, Kofi's talking how he he made a leap of victory at Stomping Grounds. Because literally he was, see, Dolph Ziggler was calling out the ring. And he went, whoop. But, and then, and then he was talking about Samoa Joe, how. Flubba Bubba. Of course, because Samoa attacked him. Samoa Joe attacked him. Of course. And of course, I guess he gets a title shot automatically. How does Joe get a title shot already? As Shim rolls. It's weird. Well, anyway, Dolph Ziggler comes out and goes, Ziggy Wiggy. No! This is not right. Um, I did all the heavy work, and then some superstar takes my spot. That's not gonna happen. I deserve it. I deserve a championship. No, you don't. <laughs> so, um, they made a match for tonight. It's a two out of three falls, and if Ziggler wins, he's added in the tri as a triple threat mm -hmm. at Extreme Rules. And he's like, good luck, kid. And walks away. Yep. And then, the first match of the night ends up being Danny Bryan and Rowan, the SmackDown yeah. champions. Of course. First, New Day members, Xavier Woods and Big E. Blech. And I'm shocked. New Day actually won. Xavier Woods and Biggie won. They did um a tag team move on Danny Bryan. Um, Biggie hold holding Danny Bryan and Xavier Woods went on the top corner and stood yeah. um. And then, of course, at the after the match, sore losers. You got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Rowan attacking the New Day. And you got the heavy machinery coming out. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they're coming out to help. So. And then that ends up being another match. New Day with the heavy machinery versus Daniel and Rowan with Owens and Zayn. Ugh. Water um, potty trash. And New Daniel. <laughs> but... Daniel and Rowan and Owens and Zane couldn't, like, they just they just couldn't get it because Heavy Machinery wins for them. Because uh, Otis, he does the catapulter. <coughs> it's like, boom, boom, and then he elbow drops and humps and then tags. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they end up doing the compactor on Zane. That just proves that Zane's the weak link. And then... There's a Vin, the Finn Balor interview, but he was just talking, and then Nakamura comes out on the stairs, so I guess... Like, Nak we all miss this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. But Nakamura is actually back. We haven't seen him. Wow, he's back. Yeah. I guess Shocker. He I guess he wants Finn's belt. Yep. And then there was a thing with Alistair Black. Of course. I guess he got all crazy because no one actually wants his challenge, or someone wanted his challenge, or something. But, anyway, that was that. And then, The Miz, he ends up wanting a match with Shane, and it ends up being Miz have to face Elias in a 2 out of 3 falls match, and if mm -hmm. he wins, he gets that match with Shane. But, of course, Shane McMahon comes out with Elias. Of course. He's a baby. He can't do anything on his own. Um, the one fall goes to Elias, because he did, he was doing the drift away. Well, first he had help from Shane, and then he did the drift away on the Miz and one. And then, um, the second fall, it was going, and then the second fall, Miz does the Skull Crusher finale. Of course he does. And then Shane's like, nope, not having this, not having this. Gets in the ring and makes it a DQ, so Miz wins over a DQ. 
And then they're just keep attacking him. Keep attacking him. They're telling the ref, do not start the third fall yet. Keep attacking him. Make sure he's all hurt. Whatever. Yeah. And then they put him on the announce table. And they put him back in the ring. Elias holds the Miz. Shane spears him. Then he says, then he tells the ref to start it. Then Elias goes on the top corner. Elbow drop for the win. So Elias won. So he don't get that match because Shane cheated and helped. Yep. And then, after the match, Shane did a uh, coast-to-coast to coast to the Miz. Of course he did. Yeah, of course. Cheat, like always. Yep. Daddy's boy. Yep. it would be no more Vince, and we end up being Shane. Yep. And then you get a woman, woman match, um, because in the Raw, Nikki and Bliss was talking, um, saying, Nikki was saying, I made a match where I'm going against Bailey, and if I win, you get your shot at Extreme Rules against Bailey for the title. And Bills is all, oh, thinking, oh, uh, doesn't know if Nikki's going to actually win. But it ends up being that match, and Nikki Cross actually won, so. Crazy Nikki. Bliss gets her title shot. Which isn't wrong. It should be Nikki getting it, because yeah. Nikki actually beat it, not Bliss. But. Um, let's see. Nikki, you're, you're falling in the wrong c crowd. Yeah. So, I ends up, because, um, Bailey, she, um, she hit the floor hard, and then cross, cross neck breakers Bailey, and then Bailey kicks out, and then Bailey surprisingly, cr surprises Cross with a, like, um, Solto suplex. And then Cross and Bailey, they're um, trading pins. And then Bailey tries a backslide, but crosses, crosses, uh, sits out into a pin for the win. So. And then after match, she's just going crazy, and being like, going down, like, yeah, Alexa, I gotta, talk, I gotta cook Alexa. Ah, oh, Alexa for Alexa. Yeah. She's so, my God, she's so blindsided. Because she's crazy. She, it's, it's, all, it's all going to her head. Yeah. And then there was this little thing with Carmella, Truth, and Drake Maverick. Um, Drake Maverick's pretty much saying Dr Truth ruined his life. He took the title from him. He took what he what he loved. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Had it all set up. His mother-in-law or his mother paid you know, his money or whatever. Yeah, he's like, you ruined my life. And I didn't even win Monday. And then Trish's like, all right. Come here. Come here. Get a ref. And then Trish's like, you mean it? Yeah, get a ref. And which is funny, how, how all of a sudden a ref pops out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> really? Like, I, you figured you, you'd give him, like, a couple minutes to go looking for one. Yeah. And then he's like, psych, I love this title more than you love anything or more than your wife. Mine. And he runs, and then everyone's running off. Little Drake's in on for all of the breast. Because everybody's like, Jay. <laughs> that title, man. I'm. I don't know. That title needs to be good, Papa. Because I don't know. That's just. I. I think it's just a laughing title. To be honest with you. It's something that they're. I guess they're trying to spice it up. I don't know. Yeah. Um. And then it's another woman the match. It was a quick match. Ended up being Amber Moon. Of course. Awesomeness. There's Sonya Deville. Oh. With Mandy Rose. Yeah. Ended up being a quick match because um, Deville, she takes Moon down. And Deville trash talks Moon. And then Moon obliterates Deville with a roaring elbow. Moon sends Deville out of a ring. As a distraction from Rose, Deville pushes Moon's shoulder ring post and then... Moon's out for the pin, so. Yeah, so pretty much she got distracted, and DeVille used that distraction. Yeah, and then at the end, whoa, how they both, mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it looked whoa. like, it looked like she, he, she wanted to kiss Mandy Rose, like she I've, was holding Yeah, like, I was like, what? It's like, well, she's a lesbian, so. Oh. But I don't think Mandy Rose is. She must be cheating, you know? <laughs> but, and then the main event. Oh, yeah. Dawson Ziggler Ziggy versus Kofi Kingston. Yeah, my man Kofi. In a two out of three falls match, if Ziggler wins, he's added to the triple threat. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's going good. Oh, yeah. This... The, the one fall goes to Kofi. Yep. He uh, did like a roll to Ziggler. And then Ziggler's getting all mad and all mad. He's attacking him. And then he ends up doing a super kick and a zigzag. And he ends up getting the second fall. Yeah. And then the third fall is quite a long bit for a while. And it takes a while. Because, you know... They both want it, you know. They don't. He don't want it. He wants a regular one-on-one -on -one match. He wants to be in it, cause it should have been me. Yep. He even cursed too. Yeah. And but the third fall actually went to Kofi. So Dolph Ziggler is not added in the triple threat. Nope. He actually did a trouble in paradise. He tried to counter as much as he can, but it didn't work. So nope. he countered it once, but then he ended up getting it the second time. So that was that. But I pretty much think yeah, that's it up SmackDown. Yeah, I mean, it's a little better than I guess what you say. Like, it was little interesting things. It was a little better. I'm not gonna say it was the best. It was it was a little better. I mean, yeah, it was fun watching the piss hound get run over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, must be like Big E coming out. Oh God, no. Yeah, but it was gross. Did you see him eating? I saw that. He was sitting there, what was that, like saltine crackers? What is he trying to do, lose some weight there? Yep. <laughs> you missed him when uh, he hugged, uh, he hugged um, a person in the audience. Yeah, I didn't. I, I really don't care for Big Ace. That's why <laughs> I didn't pay attention to him, mostly. But, um... If it was Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, then I'd pay attention. Yeah. But... How did you like this week at SmackDown Live? Did you like it? What you like about it? Do you think they need to bring, like I said, spice it up a little bit, bring back, like, like, Hornswoggle? Maybe should, dip. like, do some, like, gimmicks, funny gimmicks, man, like. Kind of like what the X did, kind of like when they did But not that. too much like the X, because it's no. PG-13 now. Well, do something similar to it's it, PG like. PG now? Because back then it wasn't PG, that's what the X did, but the hell they did. Yeah, well, do something like that, like, bring out, like, you know, like, little people, well, sorry, my bad. Bring out people like um, Hornswoggle and make it like a little thing with Piss Hound or something. Hornswoggle would be funny coming around. Do, 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 do. Jason Hector and Oh, uh, our truth calls Drake Maverick Hornswoggle. Yeah. That'd be funny. He, he called him Hornswoggle and Hornswoggle just comes out and more. That's not Hornswoggle. I'm a Hornswoggle. Yup. Do something like that, you know, like spice it up a little bit, with, you know, with them, or or do like skits. Yeah, it could be fun. Make it fun. Make it fun. Make it fun, like people want to watch. Yeah, like. No, nah, don't do more talking. <sighs> no, not a lot of talking. Just do fights. But yeah, so but yeah, let us know and make yeah. sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey. hey. And now it's 2.05 live. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, in the beginning, you had Jugu Luck because he's a champion now. Oh, of course. He's like, Loser. you're going to call him champion. Nisan Kira, whoever for victory is well, I will beat them at the stream rules. Blah blah blah. Yeah, nobody really wants to hear his mouth. It's all it's all talk. And ends up being the first match, Jack Gallagher. <laughs> and she's laughing because all automatically white and socks. Why? You're wearing white and you I mean you're white and you're wearing white socks on white. And he's got like what, a strip going around it? You should you should wear something different with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. And he ends up going against Mike and Alice because remember oh. last week they mm -hmm. said something about because he's like, let me give you my guy in front of your wife. So yeah. that's why we live here. And ends up going good, but Jack Gallagher ends up winning. He beat Mike and Alice. Yeah, which is odd. Because Mike and Alice had uh, Jack Gallagher's arm and then Jack countered and headbutted for the win. And then... After Matt's why Mike and Maria are walking up the ramp, he's telling Maria, he's like, I'm done. You tell him. This was a mistake. And he's walking up the audience. Yeah. So, what's that mean? Did he quit? 
Does he don't want to do 205 Live no more? Is he going to go to, like, maybe NXT? Or is he going to go maybe Raw, SmackDown? Who knows? I mean... That's a big question mark. Ooh. Where are we going to see Mike Canales? We might not ever see him again. He might take... He might retire. You never know. Um... And then... Ends up being the next match. Humbug the yeah. Carrillo. Yeah. And I don't remember what the guy's name is, but I think it's like just local talent because I don't never yeah. sure, seen him before. But it was a good match. It, the guy, the guy did put up a fight against Humberto, but you know Humberto ends up doing well and wins. Yeah, that level no talent. I don't know what he had on his pants, but what the didn't yeah. look right there. Humberto, he won, I think it's called a shooting star press, because he went on the top corner and, like, did a twist and press. So. Yeah. And then, you have Ariel Davari, he's having an interview. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much talking about Oni Lorcan, whatever. Uh, Baldy. He's saying who's better. And then he got attacked by Oni Lorcan. Yep, from behind with a chair. And he, it, it's the way he sounds, he sounds funny, because he's like, how you? How does it feel? How does it feel? But it, the way he said it sounded weird. Yeah, it was. But really, it was Baldy on top of Baldy, kinda. It's like what? <laughs> and right. then it showed um the Lucha Lucha yeah. house party. Yeah. Because they're gonna be next week against the Singh Brothers in a tornado tag team match. Huh. So that means they're all in the ring now. No tagging. So. We're going to see that Lucha Lucha versus yeah. the Sing Brothers. Losers. <laughs> Put on some uh, pink tutu so you're good. Valeria. <laughs> and now we got the main event. Tony Nese. App checker. Versus Akira Tozawa. Yeah. Now, this is who goes against Drew for the title out of Shame Rolls. To be honest with you, I, want, I would be happy if Tony Nese won. Because he never pinned Tony Nese at Stomp Grounds. He pinned Akira. So I kind of would want Tony Nese to win tonight. And he did. So now we're going to see him go against Drew Gulak. So Drew Gulak, mm -hmm. have fun. I like both guys. But what happened, Ab Checker? You don't count your abs no more. Yeah, oh we God. see it exposed. But you don't sit there and... <laughs> like you used to. But no, man, it was... That... That match was really good. Yep. I'm not, what was it? Him? He was the one that one of them ran off the apron and jumped, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was Akira. Yeah, because he remembered because he ran off uh, the side of the apron and bam! And they were like, it was really they good. They just pretty much showed them what they both got. They really wanted that spot to go against it, even though. In the end. But Tony's won. Yeah. He, um. The way he the won. way he did it though he had like holded him. I'm sorry, but that was the one I did, I don't really like to see that move again. It didn't look right, kind of. Yeah, he <laughs> had him, and he slammed right on Akira's head on the mat. Yeah, it's a good thing he kept his eyes closed. I mean, he tried for that knee knee thing he does with the knees. He tried that. Akira tried his moves, didn't work too well. They tried back and forth action. That kept going that, on. That, that was really good. But at the end, Tony Nese offered his hand and they shook hands, saying it was a good match. So that's good. Show support. Yeah. But I hope Tony Nese gets the title from you. And he better not. Because he technically didn't pin Tony Nese. So yeah, you have a match coming after you, Drew Gulak. Yeah. But how did you like this week at Two of Our Lives? Did you thought know it was interesting? It was a big what's. My Canales, question mark? Yeah. Is Humberto Carell ever going to go for a title? Mm. Um, what's this thing with Arya and Oni Lorcan? Baldy with Baldy. And how do you feel about Drew Gulak going against Tony Nese? Let us know. Yeah. Let us know. We'd like to hear. And let us know if you're excited to see the Tornado Tag Team match with Lucha Lucha. Yeah. Versus Sing Brothers. And... Sing Brothers, wear tutus. Yeah, be a ballerina. Or something. Dress up in little girlies and then go against the luchas. <laughs> that would be hilarious if they do that. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. So, let us know and um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.